So QuakeCon was today, and even though the stream was full of technical problems and generally that id software specifically did related to both quake and doom eternal was awesome we learned a lot about horde mode the next master levels hugo martin was just being an all-around awesome dude what's up hugo and of course the best thing that occurred was night dive studios put out a quake one remaster and it's phenomenal. There's an add-on system here similar to that scene with the Doom 1 and 2 remasters that took place a few years ago. And even though we only have one add-on being a port of the Quake 64 experience complete with Aubrey Hodges' soundtrack, there is a lot of potential for what could be coming out in the future. We have a new episode by Machine Games, which is absolutely fantastic. Dopa is now considered official. We have eight player matchmaking for Deathmatch. However, the potential here for the future is exciting. So this is running on the Kex engine, leading a lot to question why they chose Kex over some sort of source port since, you know, id tech is open source. Well, as it appears, Kex is being used as some sort of abstraction layer, and this truly is a new source port created by Night Dive. Somehow, add-ons work. I know I just said that there are official add-ons, and id software and Night Dive will be putting out more things in the future. However, you can actually just download mods for Quake, install them in a kind of convoluted way and about 50% of the time they just work. Before moving on, let's keep in mind though that what we have here obviously is going to be maintained and given a lot more attention over the uh, coming months. There are features and things that likely will be seen soon that are currently not possible even through modding. The biggest thing is multiplayer mods don't work yet. It seems as if the multiplayer experience is a separate sandbox from the single player experience because no matter what you do on the modding end, you will always end up playing Quake proper. And even though we have a server browser, and oh my god, let me tell you how amazing it is to see a massive number of full deathmatch servers, I would not be surprised if some of the add-ons we're going to be seeing in the future are three-wave capture the flag, and Quake Team Fortress. But with that said, the add-ons that are compatible are vanilla compatible. This is not Dark Places or Quake Spasm compatible, and I don't know if they intend on reaching that kind of feature parity. If what you're trying to play is a vanilla map pack or campaign, it's mostly going to work. All you have to do is install it like a normal Quake mod within the installation directory. The difference is that if you're playing on, say, Steam, the installation directory is in a separate folder called re-releases. So you just go into the re-releases folder, make sure the name of the folder is proper. So if you're playing, say, Arcane Dimensions, the folder should be named AD. And then you start up Quake. Remember that the console works. Just type in game space, and then the name of that folder, hit enter, and cross your fingers. Compatibility is quite low right now. Arcane Dimensions loads fine, but it will not load all levels. Something causes it to crash sometimes. It's finicky. But if you go onto the amazing archives that exist, showing map packs that have existed since 1996, there are some crazy custom content out there that just works perfectly. It's fucking crazy cool how this is supposedly running on Kex engine, but out of the box, it plays the maps and mods fine. We don't know exactly how much more compatibility we're going to be seeing down the line. However, according to both official documentation and official reporting related to this Quake remaster, PC players are supposed to be able to mod. However, nothing that I have done has allowed any of these mods to be shown up properly on the add-ons screen. You have to launch these mods through console commands or launch commands through a shortcut. When you download an add-on, it actually goes into your saved games folder on Windows, and even if you install another add-on in the exact same way, it will not show up. For the time being, you have to use the console in order to play. What I would like to be able to see is the ability to launch into multiplayer mods and revitalize things like Quake Team Fortress, and of course, allow the installation of mods to have those mods show up in the add-ons folder. Links to some really great Quake archives for a lot of custom content, 25 years worth 
of custom content is down in the description below. It's hit or miss what will be compatible, but I assure you as time moves on, things will be fixed and changed and more compatibility will be reached. Night Dive, holy hell, <laughs> amazing work. It's so cool. We have achievements and the sound effects are higher quality. They went to the store sound effects and we got 22 kilohertz. They doubled. Oh, mm, it's so cool. This is so fucking cool. Anyways, I just wanted to let you guys know modding is possible on the Quake Remaster. It's super easy. You just have to use the console commands and it just kind of works half of the time. We're gonna be streaming this, no doubt. Quake is so much fun, and I'm so happy that we have multiplayer back for Quake 1. Ah, oh, and it's cross-platform, oh my god. Can you tell I like this? Anyways, thank you very much for watching. I'm Tyler McVicker, I hope you have a good day. Please get vaccinated if you can. I'll see you later, adios.